This case is called coronary arteries atherosclerosis and very instantly even on very low power you can see that we have cross sections of some arteries here. It looks as though uh, some or most of these arteries have some major problems. It looks for example like in this artery there's a very big thickening of the wall over here. It looks like in this artery of which this is the lumen there's a very big thickening here. It looks like in this artery most of the lumen or blood flow area is obstructed by a huge plaque. These are all plaques and it looks like in this one unless I missed part of it you know 95 98 percent of the lumen is obstructed by this big plaque. Well it, these have all the classical features of the atherosclerotic uh, plaques. Please note th in this area which is relatively uninvolved we have a nice uh, endothelial surface we can probably find up here the internal elastic lamina we can see uh, oh perhaps 10 or 20 layers of smooth muscle cells then we can see a more fibrous uh, adventitia this is smooth muscle this is fibrous tissue look at the f subtle difference this is strictly a small little wrinkle in the processing now in this part however subendothelially we have tremendous amounts of this fatty material uh, deposited which is chiefly cholesterol and cholesterol esters notice how cholesterol frequently deposits as a needle shaped uh, slit called cholesterol clefts and please note that most of this material is within macrophages or originally in macrophages now it's just one fatty glob look at all these cholesterol clefts and I think uh, you will also be able to appreciate the fact that even though it didn't look originally like there was a ton of calcium in here I think when you zoom in a little bit you could see all these little very very dark blackish blue areas are quite typical of early calcium deposition as well here's some cholesterol clefts down here aren't there uh, I think another quick little assessment we can uh, very honestly make of these arteries is often the cardiologists and the pathologists will comment about the percentage of the uh, lumen that is disrupted or occluded or narrowed by these plaques. In this one, I think you could say 50%. Perhaps in this one, it might be a little more than 50%. Perhaps in here, I think you might be able to say about 90%. And unless we're missing something on the lower part of this artery, this one looks like it's about 99% occluded. So that's a very quick little guide that uh, uh, people use either angiographically or even uh, grossly at autopsy. Thank you very much.